Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are gonna be building something spectacular first in Dinka, well, as far as my knowledge, we are gonna be building a lighthouse. This is, I'm gonna give credit to Linda Harris, because she inspired me to build a lighthouse, and I could not get the idea out of my head, so that was yesterday, I mean, uh, well, yesterday, well, I don't know, depending how this game, uh, the, when the video comes out, but the day before, she was in chat, she was talking, she was saying how she was trying to build a lighthouse, but it hasn't been working, and all that, other people started talking, and then ideas started flowing, right? So, I came home that night, and, and I started doing some test builds. And then once I got a couple test builds, I had a kind of an idea on how to do it. Then I decided, all right, it's time to record. I found a place. I'm here in the ocean. We found a place where we're going to put the lighthouse a little further away. So we have a little perspective viewing of the lighthouse at the same time. So we have a little something to look for far away. Because a little far away is going to give it that look. But even up close, I'm going to say, I was actually very happy the way it turned out i was like in shock because it came out a little better than i expected all right so so the idea the way to start this build after trying and error many times on how to approach this build the way i figured the best way is to work all the way from the top we're gonna work all the way down so make sure just in case if you to have a glider to have something that you can go up have a helicopter because if you fall or on the side, a little far away, make a stairway to go up. Now that I have a helicopter and it, it makes it a little bit easier just in case to, to land and to leave. So, and that's how I started. But the, the best way was to, to raise yourself up all the way to the highest point that Dincom will let you raise the, the level. Of course, like always, approach this build, do the changes that you want, but this one is gonna be very particular, so don't forget to slow down the video if you need to in YouTube so you can follow along on, on this build because there's quite a few steps to, to do to make things happen and to make it work. And and then the few mistakes that I see, go ahead and catch them so we can uh, so you don't have to do them as well. But alright. So the main, the main point, you know, we are raising this gigantic pillar. We got, we got to have four squares in the middle and then two and two and two and two on all sides. Then the most important part about this build is going to be doing on the very top. We're going to be building the silo and the silo is going to lay right in the middle. And once that is there, it's going to create that part of the lighthouse, right? The illusion that this is. Uh, part of the lighthouse because that is it goes from small and then it's gonna go wider as it goes down to the base and in the base we're gonna create recreate in such a way so we have it looks like rock formation but for that we're gonna use the cement the the cement uh, path to create that illusion so all right so there's gonna be a few changes from right here that you see all the way to the end of the build because as I was building these ideas started happening and the idea actually improved the build so once i got the top done right the, the initial idea by putting the fences by putting uh the silo and putting some of the garden lamps because that was when i did my test run that's how i had it at first so now we're gonna build the foundation in the floor so we still want to see the water so so it creates a little more depth illusion that is going deeper at the same time and now out here the, this formation that we're working on, just go ahead and do it whichever way you want. You want to go higher, you want to go lower, you want to you wanna use another type of dirt, you want to put grass, depending where you're going to put your lighthouse. If you're going to put it right on the beach, you're going to put it out in the ocean. Uh, but the most important part that I will tell you is this lighthouse has to start at the lowest level as you can because you need to create that illusion of height if you if you want to create the lighthouse already on the highest point on a hill you won't be able to you because you there, there, there's a limit on how high you can go in income and once you hit that limit you won't be able to create recreate this 
this this build. So the most important part is pick a place that's going to be the lowest point in your uh, that that you can start ground floor and then work your way up, and then and then pick a place as well. You can do it close, but the farther away, once we get to the end, you're going to see why because this is part of a perspective illusion build, especially when at night. But right now I'm testing. I want to make sure that when this build, build, build uh, we're building it, I can see it from all these angles right over here. And as as that way when we're walking and all that, and I, and I want it not to feel too small, but I don't want it to feel too big. I want it to be in that right distance. That for me, because I'm looking, because I want to create this feel, this illusion, this this perspective that when you're standing there, it's like, whoa, what is that? And as you're walking, it just pops in into view and, and it just looks great. So, okay, so here, this is like the rock formation. If you go to online, go online right now. Well, not right now, watch the video and then do it. You put lighthouses, right? And there's many ways. There's right on the beach, there's way deep in, in the ocean, next to just this rock formation. But they always have something in the base. It could be very nice and neat, very rocky. Uh, it could have rocks and moss and all that. So right now we don't have boulders, we don't have rocks. So I, I can't place a rock. In the future, I have an idea. I can put like the normal uh, dirt and maybe slowly get natural rock spawns, but I don't wanna wait. So I went ahead and did it with the cement. The idea with the cement is imagine that it's still man built. Maybe over the year things have fallen, have cracked, and now we got loose pieces. But this cement structure is holding the base. Just in case there's a storm, there's a way, there's anything that's gonna happen, is holding the structure together, creating that support. So, and then you create different level, multi level. Don't make it look perfect because in my initial test runs, I was making it perfect, right? Like this, very neat and it didn't fit the flow you want you want to create the illusion like it's just dispersing from the bottom going a little more wider so it just so it feels like like it's more natural right and, and that's what i found so okay so now i had this idea I, I i was like man it's not bright enough i i needed to be more brighter so i was like okay well let me see if i can test with this particular uh light ones uh light post and I started liking it. I was like, okay, it's a little brighter. And then you know what happens next? I had this other idea and I was like, okay, I'm gonna, after I place all these lights and place them in the bottom and in the top, I decided to change it one more time. And once we get there, I'm gonna explain why once we get there. But here we are, we just, I'm just putting the lights, everything is coming slowly, but I noticed the bottom lights, eventually I don't like the way how high they are. I want it to go lower. So we're gonna, we're gonna dig around, we're gonna lower ourselves into that dirt so we can place them. So uh, I'm gonna get the helicopter, we're gonna view it, you know, and, uh, and a lot of this is gonna be a lot of viewing. Make sure that you are, you're able to view the bill from different angle as you're building it. Don't go way too far ahead, just in case you wanna make a change. Change. And right here, I'm just placing a different, uh, I was working on my rock formation and then the idea hit. I was like, wait a minute. I can actually put these lights in the places where I had the, the fence, the brick fence. Because when you put two lights together, it creates that fence. So it creates the, the fencing area. But then the light post falls right into place. And then it's gonna create the illusion. They're so close together, so it gets really bright. And then if you look right on the silo, you see how yellow it gets? So it looks like there's a light beaming from there. And and once I did that, I was like, all right, this is where I'm gonna keep it. It is very bright, it, it is very good, and that's where we're gonna, we're gonna keep it for now. But there will be a change. A little more down the road, something click even better, and then we do those changes. But let's not get ahead. Okay, so we did that, right? We're gonna change that. So I took the garden lights. I, 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 I went ahead and, and put the light post now there so it creates that brightness because now they're so close. So it's blowing out the structure, the, the, the highlights, but it, it's working in our favor because we want a lighthouse, right? So that's part of the idea. Okay, so so now we, we flew around, we went to the next day, and now I gotta keep working on this rock formation because it just looks like just, boom, a structure just fell there. 
So now we're gonna work on this rough structure and I wanted to make it try to feel natural. So this, I was trying to maybe bring a boat house, maybe do a little entrance, but it was not gonna fit. Uh, the idea that I had in mind was not gonna work because it would not center. It's gonna be off and I'm not, uh, I got the structure the way I want it. Because if I, if I go with the structure more wider than it is, then it's, it's, the feel of the lighthouse is not gonna work. So I couldn't do what I wanted to do, but I did end up doing something a little more down the road. And once we get there, I will say this is why I didn't do the other one, I did this instead. So, but now we're, we're still, this is to me was the, one of the most important parts to make the lighthouse feel real. And it's this rock formation. Even though it's not rock, of course, we're using the cement. So, but imagine that there was a structure holding this and now over time has been broken. There's missing pieces, maybe weather, uh, things have just gone a little, you know, a little more of a ruin in, in a way, but it's still functional, right? So I'm, I'm putting all the, the things that I want just to kind of have a little path and then, and then I put in the cement and then I'm trying and not all the sides are the same. And I, th and I think that was the key for me. In my initial trial runs uh, the night before, what I was trying to do was uh, I was trying to make every side equal, every side the same. And, I, and there was something off about it. You know, I, I could not make it work. If you make it work, let me know. But I could not make it work. So when I was now out here in the ocean, having a rock formation, having this formation that took it away, but it created a wider base. So if, if it just, it, it gave me more, more, more ground to work on, it really helped me. And then once that was happening, I felt like the bill was getting into the spot, uh, into the place that, that it needed to be. And it felt more natural, it felt more real. Okay, so now here, I decided, wait a minute. Okay, so more lo most, lo li most lighthouses, right around the middle, they got like a window. If you look at most of them, you, you got the big top, you look down, there's like a little square with a window, and then you go down and then you got the entry, you know, where uh, the entrance of the lighthouse. So so what I, I decided is, okay, so on these four corners, what I'm gonna try to recreate is that, and I'm gonna lower it and I'm gonna put the garden lamps, and now it's gonna bring even more light, like there's more light. Of course, it's not a window, we can't recreate a window because it will be perfect, more perfect in the middle, but we're gonna use the four corners. And this was gonna be a test. And once I did that, and then it's nighttime and we fly around, it gave even more character to the bill. And also it, it gave a little more height difference uh, in the in the bill and, and in the in the structure and in the in the lighthouse itself. And then everything was just slowly, slowly falling into place. And now I'm getting to a point that it is a lot more different than my initial test runs. But I'm glad that I did the test runs and the ideas and the play and the play around. And I'm gonna be honest, at first I didn't think it was gonna be possible to create the lighthouse. But what made the trick to be able to do the lighthouse is the silo. The silo was the key. Once I find that out and figure that out, and then now using the new light post, uh, because I originally only had the garden lamp, but thinking about the light post, they're high and make, and, and they, the way they're just tying everything together and creating that blow out of the light, like the highlight that is blown out, uh, feel and, and it just created this big illumination it really worked to my benefit okay so now on the floor right at first I, I did put those but I, I put them and they were they were they were a little too high than what I wanted I want them a little bit lower so the best way to approach this was I dig four down I did four down on one side jump down and once I'm down I can place the light post in the square below, and then you take out the one square, water comes in, you float back up, and then now you just refill. Here, I didn't went low enough. So uh, so then I started counting. I was like, okay, how deep do I need to go? And I'm pretty sure it was uh, four deep once you, uh, from the very first one that's above water, and then you go one, two, three, four, do the same thing on the other side, and then you get, you get to the point that you can then place the light post, Feel, uh, go ahead and refill, pull all the sand back, and then you are all set to go. And now, because I just wanted a little illumination, there were some lighthouses that I saw 
online that it wasn't just illuminating the top, but there were some illumination in the bottom because they were illuminating the base of the lighthouse because there's all this rock formation down there. So to keep it safe and, and safe for the boats and all that. And the other thing that I'm very excited about having the lighthouse and the inspiration that I got from you guys, from the community, and how we were all talking about trying to make a lighthouse because it wasn't just one person. There were a few of them that have been trying, but we haven't been successful just yet. But I never thought about it. I never thought about creating a lighthouse. And and what and I you know I I have other other video. I, I got another video, I got the the motorbike rental place, finishing the Franklin area. I I got most of that already filmed and all that. I just need to work on the editing, work on the voice, but the lighthouse. I was so pumped to work on this. So I pushed that one aside. I went ahead and started this one and and yeah and 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 then here we are, you know, just working on the lighthouse and you know it, it could have gone either way. It could have gone one way. I spent hours trying to figure out a way to do it and never be successful, never come to a point that I feel that is good enough to show uh, the build because it, it just doesn't look like anything and I'm and I'm gonna try to pretend too much or use way too much imagination power to make something more possible. But at the end, I feel comfortable enough that we can call this a lighthouse uh, as the best lighthouse that we can do right now with the items that we have in Dinkum. And, and yeah, and you know what's gonna happen, right? We build this lighthouse, it's great. And, and James gonna see this and James gonna like, you know what? I should give them a lighthouse bill. <laughs> And then in a future update, we're gonna get a, an actual lighthouse and then mine will be obsolete. But if that ever happens, and James, you're more than welcome to actually give us an actual lighthouse build with a rotating light and all that, we'll take it. Multiple colors, don't forget about that. But if that ever happens, then this can become a structure like a tower or something and we'll work on it and use it for something now. Or we can say it was an antique lighthouse or, or something. We can, we will do something in the future. Okay, so we're here in the next day, um, um, checking the bill. You know, we I always like to check, go around, see how it's looking, how's the rock formation is looking, how the, the lights, how's the feel of everything. And if everything's feeling okay, then I, I'm good to go. Okay, so here, why did I do the rock formation? Because I'm still, I want to create the, the lighthouse entrance, right? And I really wanted to use this because this came inspiration from uh, uh, Lien. Uh, island tour and she used this as boat houses so I was thinking man I may be able to use this and create like an entrance and surround it with I, I had ideas how to make it happen but the only downside is that this one is three wide and I need something that was two so I was like okay what can I do to create here to make an entrance I don't have to have an entrance it, it was looking good enough that I, I don't need an entrance but if I could make one I was gonna make it happen so then I remember my courtyard and I was like, okay, I'm gonna use the green archers because they, they kind of represent a door and I'm gonna surround it with, uh, again with brick and we're gonna create this entrance. That's what we're doing. And James, once again, the, the hedge arch, if we can get one in wood, cement, iron, brick, in any other form, that'd be awesome because we could, those are great for standing for doors but if we can have them in many varieties as much variety as possible that'd be super cool and and like always uh, 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 so we're just working right here and and we're creating this entrance right so now we are putting the cement path the cement path in the bottom and and we are and now it's feeling now that we have a kind of like an official entrance for the lighthouse the best that we can with the tools that we have so uh, at first I didn't want to break the coral reef, but I was like, you know, I kind of wanted to put steps and kind of like a, make a little more So but it wasn't breaking so you know, so I decided No big deal. We're not gonna use that at this very moment. So So let's check it once again, and this is always important and I'm, and I'm gonna be This is a, a tip that you guys should know that you guys should use all the time always check your bill as any, any progress that you made walk back back out just uh go ahead and observe look at it um 
and every time you go, you know, you went five, 10 minutes, go check it, especially when you're building a big structure. Look at it from far away. Look at it from different angle because those angles are always gonna help you to, to see if you see something off and it, if, then that way you can catch it early. So here, um, I was trying to do something with this wood. Uh, I saw this other lighthouse that they had like all this wood debris around it. Of course, we don't have wood debris, so I was thinking May maybe I can use this. But I even though I placed it at the very end, I took it all off. I it didn't feel like it belonged with the bill. I prefer just having all the cement all around it, and that worked out better. Uh, it worked out better at the end. So here we are creating uh, one of my favorite things is the the pillars. You know, so that way when you have a boat, they come in. You can you know you just pretending that you can tie them, but it gives it that look that with the bowl, it's not like just gonna float away. Uh, so once we bring the rowboats, we put them in, it's gonna look uh, more official. So we're using the pillars. And, and here I'm still continuing with this idea, you know, and I remember as I was doing it, I was not liking it, but I, I needed to see how it would look fulfilled just on the back side of the bill, uh, having all this wood to see what it felt like, if it looked good or not. And at the end, it, it, it didn't work out for me. Uh, doesn't mean that if you're watching it right now and you like it and you like the feel and you find a way that you can tweak it a little more, go ahead and do it because it may it may work in a way and your everybody's taste is different, right? So that doesn't mean because I didn't like it, it didn't work out for me. That doesn't mean that you cannot make it work. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you, go a lot of you can make this work uh, in many ways. And I'm pretty sure and I'm excited, you know, as, as we're starting to do island tours, as we're starting to visit other people, you know, the inspirations are rolling in. And I know somebody is going to do 10 times better this build. Somebody's going to figure something out. They're going to use another type of uh, something. They're going to either make it in a different shape and it's going to look amazing. And, and and those are the moments that I get excited in Dincom because you, you guys are so creative. Uh, we are all inspiring and lately you guys are inspiring me so much with ideas, with way, uh, how to approach it, using other items that I never thought about using in such a way. But yeah, but here we are again. Okay, so we went around. We went around and now it's looking more official. Once I, I remember going around and landing right here and bringing the boat and I was like, wow, this is looking, it's, it's, and, you know, it's just looking better than I expected it to be. And that's being my honest self. The bill it actually is coming out a lot better than I in anticipated. And it's actually really looking like a lighthouse. Like we have a structure here. Uh, and I was happy because at the end, you know, I don't want to put out something that is not good, that it doesn't look good, that it doesn't represent what I'm trying to build. And this really started looking the the shape that it, that it needed to and the illumination uh, and especially how bright it is because that was my main goal e every build every test run that i did it wasn't bright enough it wasn't just it was just so dim and i was like it's, it's not gonna work for a lighthouse the whole point of the lighthouse there has to be a beacon a, a bright beacon that's gonna light this area to guide the ships to to see it from far away and making that possible with like I, and I always complain that some sometimes when you put the lamps too close, they kind of they, they just the highlights it's just too bright. It's just, everything's is blown out. But for this, it worked out. We finally have a reason to put lights super close together, and it's to make this. And don't forget, if you don't like the lamp posts that I did, try another lamp. Try not uh, another type of uh, light source. But for me, this one's the one that worked the, the most. So now we're in the helicopter where, you know, like always I'm rechecking, I'm trying to see. The one thing I can start talking about early now is I like the entrance, but then I realize when I'm in the, in the town and looking towards the lighthouse, you cannot really see the entrance. And that bothered me. I was, I was just thinking, I cannot see the entrance. And, and when what I, I made this entrance, I cannot see it. Everything's great. I like the way everything else looks. I just, I want to be able to see the entrance. And so I had, I had a couple decisions to make. It was either break the entrance that I already made because most lighthouses have one entrance, uh, uh, official entrance, but there are some that have a side. They have a, you know, that sometimes they got one in the back, multiple entrances. So I decided to go in the route and making two. 
and I made one, the one that's already made, and we're gonna make one that you can see when you're looking at the lighthouse from this perspective, from this angle, from this view, or from any angle on this part of the island. So, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make one that's gonna look in the front, and it's basically imitating exactly what we did from the front, uh, from right here, we're gonna do it on the side. And once you did, uh, we did that, the, it made the lighthouse look even better because the front on the lighthouse, this view that we see right here, is working out so well. And and I can't be happier, right? And so yeah, so, and that's one of the next thing that we're gonna do. We're gonna make, uh, start working the entrance. And as you can see, we are about to start. And, and that was a kind of like a decision on the spot. You don't have to. Uh, if you don't want two entrances, you just want one, just find out which entrance, uh, which way you want the lighthouse entrance to face when you're making your build in your island. That, and, and that'd be the most important, uh, just to, that way you don't have to go through what I went through. If you want multiple, if you want four entrances, go ahead and make four, you know, and then, and then off on the side of the entrances, you can still build kind of like a little rock formation. I think rock formations are important, especially when they're in the water, because I th it feels more natural. If you put it on a corner of your beach and it's on top of the sand, then you don't need to have that. And then you can make it more, more, more square or something like that, more, more normal. But, but yeah, so now we're just working on the entrance, you know, and, and just, duplicating we're gonna put the same thing the pillars we because we're gonna put another boat over here we're gonna go ahead and park it we're gonna create uh create the the top we're gonna put at the same time the fences it's just recreating everything that we already did and the good thing about that it just made everything a lot quicker originally on the entrance i really wanted to use uh that little house that we use for the animals but it was not centering because it's three square and I need something with two. So everything at the end, it worked out great. I think this actually fit the, the bill even better than I expected. I think it looked really, really good. Everything is, is just very sharp. Everything works together. Everything in brick looks great. You know, uh, and that's another um, way to approach it. I, I didn't make it in cement. I didn't make it out of wood because I did some test run with palm wood. I did a test with the dark wood and none of them felt right. Now there, there are real lighthouses that are made of brick and that's why this had it with the brick and the silo is also brick. So uh, by having that combination, it, it made the structure feel all together, that fits together and it works well together. In the future, I'm, I'm hoping what one of my biggest uh, things that I wanted out of Dinkum you know, out of all the items and more city items, trash cans, and every, you know, every item, any item that we get is always gonna be a big plus because it's just gonna let us be more creative. But another, one of the things that I want is more patterns, more tiles, you know, and it could be just color, color tiles, just blue, red, all the primary color. We can have some pastel colors because if we have that ability to have just color tiles, then we can create different type of walls, different type of environments, and, and we can continue building the way we're building it. But if I could do a white structure, you know, like a lot of houses, uh, lighthouses are white, then that's great, you know, because uh, uh, the, the way we're building Dinkum, you know, is, yeah, it's not like Minecraft. It's not like um, uh, other, other building games uh, that, that you can, put your blocks floating in the, in the air, but it's still square, you know, and then you can still, you're still making your wall, you're still making your room, you're still making structures, you know, but I still, I do feel that we are a little limited on the type of tiles that we have. So, and, and the tiles, they don't even have to have texture, in my opinion, when, when, when I'm talking about colors, you know, having multiple for colors, that way we can make I, uh, places, uh, decking, flooring, anything that that is just colorful and we're using those colors to create more buildings more structure more rooms more pathing that's great and yeah and if if we get tiles also with textures hey it's, it's a win-win it's always going to be a win-win right uh the more things we get but i i still say if we get more tiles that we can do more colors and all of that is always it's, it's just gonna eat that change alone it could increase the all the amount of builds and pathing and color and everything that we we can bring to our island so that's one of my biggest 
things. Be besides having more items and sports item and volleyballs and any anything, anything, any any item is always gonna be a, a plus. But I think we do. I do feel like we do need more color, more more ways to add more 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 into the into our islands. But here we are. This is the structure. I think we we done a really an amazing job. From far away, it looks great. I like how the water hits the structure, and it just it just the water is just there, like really. It just I don't know. I know it's, it it just I, I remember when I looked at it for the first time from far away after I finished the second build, and I was so happy. It, it just made me smile. I was joyful. I, I that I was able to actually manage to do this. And, and feel proud of it and being able to show it to you guys um, it, it, it was such a good feeling so then I and then I went ahead and took it with the jet ski and we went ahead and drove a little bit we want to see it I wanted to see how the structure is looking on the map I like how it looks in the map with, with it's just like like pieces are breaking everywhere I think it does gives it that feel and I like how illuminated it is and here I was testing how when we're walking from far away how everything is looking and how far can I go? And I was like, okay, everything's looking great because I like how as we're walking is you can see the structure and from far away, it looks great. It looks like a, a, it's just illuminated. It's beaming. It's, it's just out there. And once we get the sailboat, I can't wait to park one right there or, or like somewhere like if it's just leaving it in the water, but like it's coming towards the lighthouse. I think that's going to be amazing. Okay. So right here. This is what I mentioned earlier, right? There was going to be one more change I'm going to do to the light, and it hit me. The lighthouses, the bright spot is right in the middle. So I was like, okay, what happens if I lower the light post one more level down? It fell almost right in the middle. If I go one more lower, then it's too low, right? So I went ahead, okay, I'm going to lower it one level, put them up, and we're going to look at it. And, and guys, that did the trick because now the, the that yellow, that that center that is really blown out, is almost right at the middle. Look at that. See, see how it falls right in the middle, and you got that yellow circle. And I think that's amazing. I think that we finally got it. Also, it give it's gonna give us a little more height difference between the different levels until we get to the very top of the silo. And now I want to say it is com complete. Like I said, if it, if it is too bright for you guys, try to use another type of, of light, uh, light post. But I went with this one because it kind of hides well with the brick. And, and yeah, but look how bright it is. And, and that's what we want from a lighthouse, right? And, and this is right now the best that I could do for you guys to create a lighthouse type structure in Dincom with the items that we have. Now we're gonna get hope, uh, a more updates in the future, more items, more ways to decorate. We don't know what James is gonna give us, but whatever he give us, we know we are all gonna be excited about all the items that we're gonna get, right? And maybe James gets inspired and he actually builds a lighthouse. And then I can use this for something else. This could be like a little fortress protecting the, uh, the, the island. But here we are in the next morning. And well, what I wanted to do right now is talk a little bit and we, even though I've been talking the whole time, right? Uh, and this is just a little time lapse. We're gonna look at the timelines and just talk. And I wanna talk a, a little about what the channel is we're gonna be doing soon. Um, everybody is requesting some island tours. Uh, the people are requesting for me to do a helicopter tour of the island. We are, I'm planning to open a Discord because some people have requested that they would like to have a Discord. Uh, that way they can reach out to me easier. Uh, that way they can DM me and touch me and so we can talk and all that. So, so I'm going to be working a little more in the background, in the scene. So, so the channel can continue to grow the way it's growing. So you guys can feel more confident, more comfortable approaching. And so we can do more of these videos. You know, I'm trying to do all the requests that you guys are wanting me to do. And it's, it's very exciting. I like how we are all involved. I like all the new members that are joining, members that are commenting, members that are liking the videos. And and this is this is truly an exciting time. And with an update coming around the corner, how exciting is that, right? So, but we made it to the end of the video. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you wanna see more videos and 
We'll see you next time. All right. See you later. Bye.